Do you use the file manager in Windows? Do you like it? Well, there are better free and commercial file managers available. One of the best is the freeware program called QDirect. Let's take a look at QDirect. Hi, Dennis Ray here. Are you feeling run down, tired with low energy? If you subscribe below, you will feel better and more energetic. Okay, I could be exaggerating a little, but subscribe anyway. Thanks. After you install QDirect and you open it up for the first time, this is the look you'll see uh, with four panels on your screen. And the advantage of having more than one panel is you can open more than one folder or file at a time, or you can copy or cut files or folders into another panel. And if you don't like the four panel look, you can change it with these icons on top. Right now we have four panels selected. You can make it three, three with another look, two, and a number of different choices there. Or no panels at all. But I like two, so I'll go to that. Then there's this icon where you can make a tree view with your panels. Uh, if you hit the down arrow, you can make one tree view for all the panels, and this is the tree view here on the left, or make a tree view for each panel. Or none at all. And then we have search, where you can search this PC, print, uh, you can select a folder or a file that you like and you can add it to favorites and favorites in this is very much like favorites in a browser. Screen magnifier, and to tray where you can minimize it to the tray in this area. This icon will check for any updates for QDirect if you wanted to. Hit the down arrow, make your selection there, or I have don't search automatically right now, but uh, you know it might be a good idea to check one of these because uh, the developer comes up with updates quite often. Then there are the icons on the address bars. Uh, first of all, there's back. See, if I go into pictures and I want to go back to the previous view, hit that, or forward to where I was at, you can use that. Kind of like going back with this icon. Make a new folder. This is view. And you'll see this in the Windows uh, File Manager too, if you want the icons to be large, medium, small, list details, tiles, so on and so forth, uh, sort by name, type, file size, groups, refresh, and that's what that is. Okay, this is refresh. What's all on this PC? Another way of searching through your files and drives. And another way to look at what files are on your PC. Then there is this uh, bar with icons on the bottom. Uh, this will tell you how many objects are in this panel and there's a menu where you can select how you want it to show. Run. Send by email. So if you select a folder or file you want to delete, you can use this. And the same way with cut and paste to another panel. Same with copy and then here's the paste icon. Filter, highlight, uh, I don't use this very much. 
quick folder menu. I don't use this very much either. Say you want to copy and paste or cut and paste or delete for that matter. Like I showed you a little while ago, you can use these icons or you can use what you have available in Windows. Uh, say if I go into pictures and I want to move one of these image files to downloads on the right panel, I select that, right click, cut, go to the right panel, open up downloads, right click, and paste. There it is. And then uh, you can rearrange the files by name by hitting this or by size. Yeah. Or by item type. These are all image files so that is going to make a difference on this. Or date modified. And then you can even select a, a date on calendar. Let's take a look at the menu. Uh, a lot of the things that we already touched on are in the menu, but there are a couple other things that we can take a look at. Under file there is, well, we did touch on find and I just want to mention that the find or search feature of QDirect is rather slow, so there are other uh, programs and software that you can use that work better than than the search in QDirect. Um, reposition window. This is interesting. You can reposition the window when centered. Left. Right. Or maximize again. Next in edit, uh, there's not anything really all that interesting in this, but in view there is a uh, full screen. That's kind of nice. Okay, go back. Or there is view, sort by, group by, refresh. These are all things that we saw just below the menu item in the panel. Uh, there's properties that will tell you some information about your computer. And moving on, there's favorites, which we already talked about. <clears> then <throat> there's extras. And some of these things we already talked about, but you can take a look at those and some other settings that you see in here. But I think this is interesting. Colors and design, where you can change the look of QDirect. Uh, there's a classic design. Well, it's a little bit different than the default. Yep. Back to flat design. And there are settings for changing the color of the panels. Uh, let's go black. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Olive. Yeah. All right, that's kind of cool too. So to change back to the default, we can disable all color jokes. <laughs> okay. Then there's info uh, about QDirect, of course, and help. So you can get some information of how to use all these features in QDirect. Um, QDirect frequently asked questions. And donate. And I'd advise you to donate to the project so you can keep a great program in development. Where do you get QDirect from? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here's the website. And uh, I'll put a link for this in the description below. But the home page has lots of information about QDirect. Uh, when you want to download it, hit this tab. In this area are the installer files that you can download. And there are 
portable versions that you can download too, but I'm going to get the 64 bit, so hit that. And it doesn't take long to download, it's a very small file. Okay, we got it. Once you've downloaded it, as I said, it's a zip file, so you can right click on the file, tell Windows to extract all, and we want to extract it in the same folder. And then you can double click on this and install it. QDirect has a lot of features and I covered the ones I like and find the most useful. After using QDirect you might find some other features I didn't cover that you like. As you can see QDirect is a very nice file manager replacement for Windows. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. See ya!